Yo guys and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we're doing something slightly different We're actually going to be doing a thumbnail tutorial on Pixlr Pixlr is a free online photo editor similar to Photoshop It has many useful features however it's free and it's the one I use for all my thumbnails It's the one I use when I'm making thumbnails for other people And so I'll link that in the description below for you guys to check out So in this video we're going to be making a thumbnail similar to those that Zun makes which are sort of montage thumbnails, okay? You can do this for any game, but today I'm specifically doing it for CS. If you guys want me to do any other game, just let me know in the comments below. This will be a simple tutorial, so if you want me to do anything more complicated or more complex, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. So I put some pictures up on the screen right now of the sort of thumbnails that we want to recreate in Pixlr. So without further ado, let's hop in and I'll show you guys how to make it. Firstly, what you're going to want to do is click create new and then click on 1920 by 1080. The first thing we're going to want to do is get a background. So what we're going to do is we're going to go onto Google. You can choose any map you want, but for this video, I'm going to use Mirage. And basically, we want to find a background image for our thumbnail that we can use. It doesn't have to be the best image. However, choose an image that makes sense. Okay, guys, so I found this image. We're going to right click it and we're going to click copy image. We're then going to go back to Pixlr and then click Control V to paste the image into our editor. As you can see, it's not 1920 by 1080, so we'll have to resize it make sure that it's on fix and not free for the meantime and simply just drag the edges doesn't matter if it goes slightly outside the border and then you want to click on free and then you just want to drag it just to cover up the remaining space once you have your background image there are a couple things we're going to want to do to it the first thing you're going to want to do is increase the saturation so you're going to want to click on adjustments and hue and saturation and we're literally just going to crank it up to the max as you can see it looks significantly more vibrant and the colors sort of pop out more and now we want the gun or the knife so we're going to go back to google images and we're going to find an image of a gun or a knife that we want in our thumbnail so guys i found the image that i want i chose to go with a dragon or orc so we're going to once again copy the image however now we're going to go over to a website called remove background i've linked it in the description below guys trust me this website is a lifesaver it's totally free and it basically allows you to remove the background of any image one thing i would say is make sure that the thing you want to cut out is on a clear or clearish background so that the tool can make out the image that you want to cut out otherwise it might start cutting random things out so just try to choose the best image possible so once you are on this website just click Control v and as you can see it removes the background totally and you're left with just the image you want so go ahead and copy this image and go back to pixlr and we're going to control v our image into pixlr and now we're going to resize it so just drag it and make sure that it is the correct size that you want okay once again we're going to increase the saturation i'll put it to about 50 any more than that the colors start to be too vibrant okay so now we're almost done however when you apply the background blur so just click on your background and then go to filter then go to details and as you can see there are many options of different blurs the main three blurs that i'd recommend are motion blur radial blur and zoom blur i'll quickly show you what all of them look like motion blur gives the effect of motion as you can see radial blur gives a uh, some rotation to the blur finally zoom blur for this video we're going to go with a zoom blur so go back to filter go to details and select zoom blur you can then adjust it how much you want I think something like this would work pretty well as you can see it is finally starting to look pretty good this would now be the stage where you can start changing the saturation or shadows or colors simply by going to the adjustment settings and just tinkering with those i won't show you how to do that however if you want a more in-depth video where i go through each setting and show you how to make a better thumbnail let me know in the comments below however the final change that we can do is if you click on your background go to filter and then click on vignette or vignette so what this does it basically lightens or darkens the edges of your picture so if you go with a darker it will make it look more cinematic and if you go with a white it will make it look more vibrant or bright as you can see by moving it to the left the edges become more white and by moving it to the left the edges become more dark we're gonna make it slightly darker and as you can see the thumbnail is now complete it took maybe five minutes to make super super simple obviously there are other things that you can do to make the thumbnail better so guys thanks for watching this was the first video i've done on how to make thumbnails on pixlr if there's any other thumbnails or tutorials you want me to make on pixlr let me know in the comments below and i'll be sure to give it a go if there's any other games you'd like me to make a thumbnail tutorial for just let me know in the comments so guys thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial